What up? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dudes and dudettes. Don't know why I started doing that, but you know, it just feels right. It is day 185, one, eight, five of Dave's Daily D, Dave's Daily Discussions. You know me, I'm Dave. Fell asleep listening to the Pat McAfee show last night. My phone was at like 14%. Put an earbud in, just listening to it with the fan running. And uh, like a light, just out, fell asleep. Didn't plug the phone in, phone died. Woke up after, you know, I wanted to be out of bed. But still, you know, efficient enough this morning. Didn't get to make my breakfast or walk the dogs. But I mean, I'm out on the road to go to the gym. We're gonna make some use of it. It's fine. So sitting here driving, you know, about a, a minute or two into my drive, and I'm thinking to myself, what do I want to talk about today? What am, what am I gonna do for a video? Can, can I do a video? I think I came up with some things. So, you know, last two days I put out some pretty decent videos. Um, yesterday's, man, I can't even think about what yesterday's was because two days ago was really, really good. And that one was about uh, one rep, one step, next step forward. Everything's, you know, towards growth and everything's towards opportunity. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, what happened last night with falling asleep, waking up and thinking about how easy it is just to say, yeah, I'm not going to go. I'm, I'm just going to, you know, sleep in or I'm just going to skip today. I'll go tomorrow. And that skip today, I'll go tomorrow just keeps kicking the can down the road. Keep putting it off, putting it off. You never do it. The longer you put it off, the easier it is to forget about and put off. When you think about it, you're like, eh, it's been put off this long. It's not that important. I'll get it tomorrow. It's so easy. It's so easy. And I think about all the things that I do and I've accomplished and all the things that I'm working through majorly. I mean, I even talked about it, I think about a week or so ago, I went through it. A terrible drought, you know, around that time, you know, right before and then definitely during and after the surgery time where there was not a, there wasn't really videos coming out. There wasn't really any content coming out for like a month or two there. There might have been like one or two. It was not a lot. And then, you know, since I started this thing, like it was like the first 60 days were consecutive days of videos. And then I think I went on vacation or whatever. Uh, I was uh, I was gonna make videos the entire time there. I made like one or two. And then I didn't, cause I was like, I'm just gonna enjoy my vacation. You know, take a break here. I got back and everything just was, you know, different for me. I was missing video days, days after days, and I had to get back into it. So it's so easy to get out of a routine and say, yeah, you know, I'll do it tomorrow. So I'm looking back on those and I'm like, even like a week ago, or what's the last month? Like, I'll make four or five videos four or five days in a row, make a plethora of them, pretty decent content, and then I'll hit a spot where I just have, you know, an extreme low, I'm not feeling it, and I will just miss days or even a week. So we're back on track here. We're, I want to say, I don't even know how many consecutive days we're on. We're going to keep pushing as many as we can. I know I talked about four that I wanted to start potentially working into maybe editing the videos, that it doesn't have to be a video every day. If I can make sure that each video that I put out, you know, every other day or multiple, you know, four, four videos a week or so that just have content. But it's nice to keep things on a schedule to keep putting them out. I mean, as I consistently put videos out, people were seeing them again and coming across them again. Um, so I decided to keep an eye out and see. I mean, the content's rolling right now, so we'll keep doing our thing. So <clears throat> I'm just looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, like, look at all the obstacles and all those things that you you know, doubted yourself on, that you allowed to stop you and hold you back. Ooh, it's sour. Um, think about all those things. Don't dwell, but I mean, take a peek at where you came from, where you were. Think about some of the obstacles, some of the things that you didn't think were possible, some of the things that you didn't think you were gonna overcome. And look at where you're at now. I mean, I am 185 days of video content. 
I would have to say well over 200 videos because there are multiple days where there are two or three videos. We've got to be around 200 or over 200 videos. And uh, looking at it, I never thought I'd be doing this. And I could still not be doing this if I didn't just do it. Didn't just put one foot forward. If I didn't just put one step, one rep. I think that's going to be the new thing. One step, one rep. Hashtag, one step, one rep. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I, I could easily not be doing this and I could be putting it off that much longer on something that I enjoy doing that I may have ended up doing at some point anyway. Think about it. If there is something that you truly want, now don't rush it, don't force it. There's certain things in life that, you I mean, you gotta kind of let it do its course. You, you can't over, you know, complicate. But if there are things that are in your control that you could be doing, I mean, why not start now? Like me making content right now, I could put it off another year or five years, but yeah, I'm gonna be starting from scratch where, you know, I started a year ago and put it off. <clears throat> You're only getting older. There's still a lot of time left, but I mean, if you wanna do it, you know you wanna do it, do it now. <clears throat> but like when it comes to things like, you know, major commitments, you know, kids, things like that. I mean, it kind of takes two people. I mean, it takes a, a team to make a decision on that. So you can't fully apply, but I mean, it's a, it's a communicative uh, decision to think about and talk about. If there's something that you truly want to talk about it, to think about it. Two, one step, one rep. One rep, one step. Right now, I mean, it's today. We woke up. It's time to be thankful for that opportunity that we woke up today and it is time to express that gratitude by showing it. Actions speak louder than words and getting out there and doing it. And I'm just looking at so many different things that, you know, I thought were obstacles or that I woke up and just didn't want to do. I mean, I had days where work was stressful or overwhelming. You just feel burnt out. And you're like, man, what am I going to do here? Um, the gym. I mean, even yesterday, like I didn't, I did not want to work out. Even today, like it's there, but I, I don't. I still just feel it. Whatever. But I'm still going. But I'm looking at it before, like I used to just skip days or whatever, not work, but you know, the gym, or I would slack off or whatever. And it's not me. I'm a very driven, very, very self-propelled person. And when you just, when you, like I said. Uh, about two weeks ago when you allow yourself to become overwhelmed and you set goals too high you set expectations too high you end up putting yourself into a sense of paralysis and you just end up just folding and you know letting everything just pile on top of you and freeze you so everything is uh you have to be aware of what what your surroundings are aware of what you're going through what what is in front of you what uh you need to hold yourself accountable for and then execute on it, but make sure that the goals and the milestones and everything you want are attainable and reasonable. <clears throat> Just getting off the highway here. So that's one thing that I wanted to talk about. I'm trying to think if I know the other the other thing that I'm going into. And I might not. It, I had one thought, second thought came to me, the first thought kind of escaped me, and I talked about first thought when it came back. And now second thought is, uh, where is it? Where is it? <clears throat> so, you know, I'm just I'm just out here trying to do my thing. I'm putting out these videos. Um, obviously, as I said before, raw content, I'm just trying to <clears throat> put out, you know, what I am, who I am, how I feel, what I'm doing with each day, just talking. I mean, some people may enjoy it, other people may think it's silly. And that's okay. Um, we're we're all allowed to have opinions. There's some things that I see people do, and you know, people talk about and enjoy that I don't completely understand or agree with. But that's their life, their freedom to you know enjoy and partake in those things. Just because somebody is you know enjoying a food that I don't like or enjoying a drink that I don't like. Just because somebody likes a movie that I didn't think was very good. Somebody holds something true, near and dear to them, that, you know, I don't 
<clears throat> truly understand <clears throat> doesn't mean that it isn't important, that it isn't great, that it isn't something to them. It doesn't mean that I have the right to take that away from somebody else. And we see that a lot in today's society. I was just looking at it and you know, I understand you no know, parental controls and stuff. I had to go through and edit like 60 videos last night. Um, somebody told me that they that my comments, I didn't realize it or I did see it but didn't realize it, that my comments were disabled on my videos and it's because I thought I was picking the right setting when I was uploading my videos. It wants you to just pick, you know, public. Is it made for kids or not for kids? Well, I, you know, I try to keep my content pretty clean so I put made for kids. But now that I'm not doing made for kids, cause I was like, okay, but make it made for kids and it's, you know, got maybe some vulgarity in it, then I'm probably gonna get a strike or something or my videos are gonna have issues. So I've kept it pretty clean, but now that I realize that the reason that my comments were disabled is because I was selecting the setting made for kids. Well, I went through and turned that off, put it back to not made for kids. And you know, we can say fuck again, I guess. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty clean, cool person and, you know, I, I do my thing, you know, I, I can, I can use sentence enhancing words, but I don't all the time. It's not something that, you know, it just depends on, you know, where I'm at, who I'm around and, you know, how I'm feeling. I'm not going to use them in a disrespectful manner to attack anybody. So, <clears throat> but where was I even going with this uh, with this thought here? Um, but I got the vid I got the comments going back again, and uh, oh yeah, I'm just looking at it. And I'm thinking about you know how many people you know are offended or bothered by something, and they allow that you know that offense or that thing that bothers them to really you know they act out on it. They get ugly and they start trying to destroy things that you know other people enjoy. There are things out there that should be, you know, looked at and like, okay, maybe this isn't right. Maybe this is, you know, should be taken care of or changed. But there's some things that are so simple that people enjoy that, you know, we can't because everybody else wants to complain about it. So it's a thing, but I fixed that. But it's just, you know, society, we have to learn to be, you know, a little bit stronger. I mean, it's okay to feel things. We should feel things. We should deal with things. We should look to better ourselves and better society. But we also got to learn to, you know, look at, okay, as a whole, as a group, what are we trying to better? Or is it just because I feel some type of way about it um, because I'm feeling, you know, petty today or something. So it's it's a it's a fine line. So with that being said, I'm at the gym now. I'm going to get in here. I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in for another day of Dave's Daily D. And I will try to tune in again after work today, after the gym. Love you all. Have a good one. It is. Juice Box Thursday, oh my gosh, Juice Box Thursday, a logo is coming, a logo is coming today.